my 1915 craftsman style house where my brother Nico and I built this pretty big work table to do large scale projects on. The project that I'm building in the end is not going to be that big but the stock that I'm cutting down is. I'm going to make an adjustable gym bench for lifting weights and I actually, I actually drew up a plan for it which is something I never do because I'm never that organized because I'm never that organized but in order to compensate for being over prepared, I completely failed to take advantage of the fact that this is graph paper. So this drawing is not to scale. Of course, the most important question we have to ask ourselves since we're building a piece of fitness equipment is what kind of cocktail goes with that? The bulk of the bench is going to be made with two inch square steel tubing, which I'm going to cut down to size. I think I'm going to manage to build this entire thing out of steel that I have left over from other projects. So that's good news. If you've been following along, then you've seen me use the Evolution Tools Rage 2, which I bought in order to cut steel with. Well, Evolution saw that too, and so they sent me the Rage 3 to try out. This steel that I'm cutting is quarter inch thick, and that's the upper limit for this saw. So we'll see how the Rage 3 does. It has a laser. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I've got my 45 inch piece, two 12 inch pieces, a 14 inch piece. This says 10 inches, but I know that I actually need nine and a half. I think that's my last piece of this larger stock to cut. All right, before all of this gets welded, I just want to dry fit it together to make sure that I cut everything properly. The top of the bench, the short leg, the long leg, foot, foot, casters. Okay, perfect. That steel was a quarter inch thick. The bench top is uh, two by 12, which is also at the extreme end of the size of the material that this thing should be able to cut. It is done. All built from scratch. There's nothing upcycled about this one. I borrowed, I borrowed the specs of the design from an Instructables that I found, but that one was all built out of wood, so I modified it. I'll put the link below to that original Instructable. Obviously, it's heavy, so I put the casters on it. That way, you can just roll it when you need to. And then, this swings up and down to give you different settings. different things that you want to lift. Okay, so the question is, when you've made a piece of fitness equipment and you need a cocktail to go with it, 
what kind of cocktail goes with fitness? And the answer is the Royal Fizz. A fizz actually evolved out of the sour, has a lot of the same ingredients, but back in the day when soda water was first invented, it was all the rage. They started adding it to everything because the carbonation itself was thought to be intoxicating. Ah, so I'm about to make a royal gin fizz, and you'll see why it's a, a fitness cocktail in a minute. It starts like a lot of cocktails start. Shaker full of ice, one, one jigger of gin, ounce and a half. Also an equal amount of simple syrup. I made this with honey. This is equal parts honey and water in the interest of this being a healthy cocktail. Lemon juice. I need about three quarters of an ounce. And now, what is it about this cocktail that makes it appropriate for building fitness equipment? High protein. This is not just a gin fizz. This is a royal fizz. And it's a royal fizz because there's a whole egg in it. Because there's a whole egg in it, you want to shake the hell out of it. As it gets shaken up, the egg gets emulsified and it gets colder and colder, which is good because we're not going to serve this over ice. Strain that into your glass and then fill the glass the rest of the way with soda water. And that's what makes it a fizz. It's surprisingly light and refreshing. It's creamy because of the egg, but it's not heavy. And the lemon gives it the sour, which is where it came from. I hope you enjoy this cocktail and I hope you enjoy the build. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That'll help me out. And subscribe to my channel. See more cocktails, see me build more things, see me fixing up my 1915 house. And oh, you can subscribe to me on social media. You'll see the links down below in the description. You'll see stuff that doesn't end up as videos. And in the meantime, thank you. Cheers.